Hi, this is Walter Weesey with Yellowstone Country Fly Fishing and Parks Fly Shop. Today I'm going to be tying a Matt Minch's Golden Stonefly Nymph. Uh, this is one of our top nymphs. It's uh, certainly one of our top three flies on the Gardner River at all times of the year. Um, it's very, very quick to tie, uh, very durable, very impressionistic stonefly nymph pattern that can also look a lot like caddis or, uh, or sculpins even. And so this is a good one here. And uh, after the video here, I have a major announcement, so I hope, uh, hope you stick around. All right, I've started my thread already, and I also have an underbody of 0.015 lead-free wire, and then a 532nd inch gold bead on a size 10 3X long streamer hook, and my thread here is 6 alt light brown. My tail on this fly is going to be a kind of a short tuft of golden brown chickaboo, and we actually get this custom dyed for Matt Minch so he can tie these for us. Um, it's kind of hard to find chickaboo anymore at all and certainly really hard to find uh, kind of this uh, insect like golden brown color. So if you can't find this particular color um, just go, go ahead and use golden brown marabou and you may throw in some crystal flash or something to give you the, uh, the effect of the bars that the chickaboo has. And make that really short, just about half a shank length. Now my body on this fly is going to be brown olive short flash chenille. Um, as you can see, this is it really comes out more of a golden olive or a golden brown, and it's a uh, not particularly bright flash chenille. I mean, you get something like cactus chenille, it's going to have a whole lot of flash to it. This is more of a muted flash, and uh, it's a really really good color, and we really like this kind of chenille just in a general sense. So what I did there is I tied in that chenille going down the shank and then I'm going to go ahead and throw a knot there and wrap this forward. It's actually probably a little too far forward. Now, my hackle on this fly is again kind of a golden brown grizzly, um, golden brown dyed grizzly saddle hackle feather. Certainly don't want to use uh, a high grade dry fly hackle. I mean, this is something like a whiting bugger pack would be ideal for this. Um, and uh, you want to undersize it slightly because you have a pretty fat thorax here and uh, you don't want really long hackle like you do on a woolly bugger or on a uh, on a dry fly. So undersize it. This is looks like about a size 12 on a size 10 nymph hook. Or size 10 nymph I should say. Now my thorax is uh, antique gold squirrel dubbing. And you can use whatever kind of dubbing you like. Uh, uh, hairs your blend would be fine but kind of a gold color. Take one turn just behind that hackle to stand it up and then wrap up to the bead. And I'm going to wrap that hackle forward in about four turns. And as you can see, that's actually slightly undersized uh, hackle there, but it comes out looking about right or even maybe a little big even, just because my thorax is so fat. And after I cut off that hackle butt there, I'm going to tie in a little bit more dubbing there, just behind the bead. And then it would finish. And there's completed Minch's Golden Stone. And that's actually our single best selling stonefly nymph, uh, without question. We go through, oh, a good 50 to 60 dozen of these. Size 10, like the one I tied here, is kind of our go to, but uh, we'll fish a size 12 as a dropper underneath, uh, like, say, a salmon fly in early summer, or uh, 
you know, when we think the fish are a little more skittish and we'll fish a size eight kind of during the peak of the, the golden stonefly emergences in July because, uh, you know, the fish are going to be seeing a lot more of the full-sized uh, pre-emergent nymphs. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Like I said, special announcement coming up. Okay, so the long-awaited special announcement. A uh, few of you who have been watching my videos for several years may remember that several years ago I uh, talked about putting on a book of Parks Fly Shop fly patterns. And life kind of got in the way. I just didn't have enough money to do it because I was still in grad school. And now I'm out of grad school and uh, I've gone ahead and written the book and I hold here the proof copy. Um, it's going to be 228 pages, uh, about 150 color and black and white photos. It's going to have uh, black and white interior photos and then color plates at the end. And it has pattern histories, uh, fishing tips, variations, uh, tying instructions, the, the whole nine yards for uh, about 50 Parks Fly Shop patterns, both current and historic. Um, it makes a great adjunct to these videos. As you can see, it's a spiral binding, so it'll lay flat while you're trying to tie. And uh, so I'm really excited to be putting this out. First printing is only 125 copies, and so we'll see uh, how quickly we sell through those. Um, as I said, it's 228 pages, black and white interior, color photos at the end, and uh, that's one of our competitors puts out a book, and theirs is about 90 pages, so mine's over twice as long, and uh, they're selling theirs at, theirs at $24.95, and I'm selling mine at $22.95. And while I don't have the uh, copies to sell in hand just yet, we expect those to be available within two to three weeks. Uh, I'm putting this video up in the middle of May, so by June 1st we expect to have those. And uh, we're accepting pre-orders. So if you would like to pre-order a copy of my book, it'll be $22.95 plus shipping and handling. Well, just shipping. And uh, you can order that by contacting me, contacting me at wjwwriting at yahoo.com or by calling the shop at 406-848-7314. And uh, I really hope uh, if you enjoy these videos and find them helpful that you'll uh, pick up a copy of the book. Thanks.